Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. For over six months now, we have seen a shortage in firearms and ammunition and it's been very disturbing watching it take place. We're used to paying one price and then it skyrockets over 100, 200% for that exact same product. And part of the reason is supply and demand. We've seen so many people purchase guns and then they need ammo and it just increases the price because there's not a lot out there. We see, um, you know, the supplies to make ammo, the companies that are purchasing ammo are purchasing at a higher price. They have to offset onto the customers and, and that's what's happening and it's happening big time. But what I did not know in terms of that ripoff company, Cheaper Than Dirt, who is amongst the worst. You know, every time I make a video about Cheaper Than Dirt, the feedback that I get is, it's called capitalism. Supply and demand, don't you understand economics? Well, I understand economics and I understand capitalism and I'm a fan. But what I did not know is that in the state of Texas, which is where Cheaper Than Dirt is located, that it is illegal to price gouge during a disaster. Greg Abbott, the governor, declared the state of Texas a disaster and all necessities cannot be price gouged. And Cheaper Than Dirt did that because ammunition in the state of Texas is a necessity. And over a thousand complaints went into the Attorney General's office saying this company completely ripped us off. Like they, they put something in their cart, they may have had five to 10 items in their cart, and then when they went to check out, cheaper than dirt, took their credit card information, took their money, but then they raised the prices after they were in that person's cart. Completely illegal, immoral, and really a black eye to anybody who got ripped off, you know, from cheaper than dirt. So there were a thousand reports and then the attorney general looked into this and investigated and found over 4,000 cases of price gouging. Now, if you looked at cheaper than dirt, you would see that they were selling firearms like a rifle for $4,000, a popular handgun for, with an MSRP about 300 for $850. Uh, CZ Scorpion, $3,800. Like this was happening, and in Texas, it's illegal. So they brought suit and they are now forced to pay back to their customers, cheaper than dirt, $403,000. Just shy of that. And I'm hoping that number raises as more people come forth with evidence of how they got ripped off from cheaper than dirt. And I'm also hoping that that serves as, as an example to many of the other companies out there that say, you know, this is a good time to make some dough. You know, everybody's getting their government money back. They're going to be looking to, to buy some ammo. Everybody's, many people, trying to replenish what they've already shot, uh, shot off throughout the years. And many people are being told this is what you need to do. And they go out and buy ammo. Maybe we should you know, try to work a little bit more uh, suitable for our customers. Cheaper Than Dirt's been doing this for years. They are so bad, they should be avoided at all costs. And many times people will tell me, I'll never go back there again. But there are people that shop there. Like they are raking in thousands of dollars daily. Think about that, $403,000 they have to pay back. How much does that company actually take in? You know, the people who used to work there who contacted me, probably four or five people contacted me and said, that place is unbelievable. Like, it's a real toxic environment, 100% profit driven. Like, they don't care about the Second Amendment. They don't care about whether you get the guns or ammo. You know, all they care about is raking in profits. And, and they have, like, they have to a major degree. I would guess far greater than most other places you know they probably show up rather quickly in the search engines and so you have all these new people out there looking to buy stuff they see something in stock they want to buy it because they know if they don't jump on it somebody else is going to grab it and they got ripped off from cheaper than dirt the ripoff artists that they are i will say as it comes to just making profits they're pretty good but i did not know that they were illegal 
in the state of Texas and they got caught with their pants down with no gun on them and cheaper than dirt has to pay back a lot of money and I'm hoping that they learn their lesson but I doubt it they'll probably find a way around it because that company is no good and should be avoided at all costs if you like videos like this please subscribe and share I always appreciate the thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe